In this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you exactly what you need to do to fix your Apple CarPlay not working right now, super easily and fast. So you need to watch this video to the end if you wanna find out how to fix your Apple CarPlay not working. As we all know, Apple CarPlay is probably one of the best features of iPhone these days because it allows you to jump in your car and straight away you've got all your messages, all of your notifications, all of your calendar stuff, all of your emails, all of your phone calls straight away accessible on your car and it makes driving so much easier. But what's not easy is when Apple CarPlay does not connect and it's been an ongoing issue me and so many other people are facing when they drive their car every day. So in this video, I've got the best tutorial for your Apple CarPlay not working right now super easily and fast. And this method applies on any make or model of car. I'm just using a Kia for the sake of this video but it doesn't matter what make and model of car you guys have as long as the car has Apple CarPlay. So let's get started right now. The first thing you want to do is make your way to your iPhone and make your way to settings. So scroll down guys and make your way to the settings on your iPhone. Now, once you guys are in the settings, the first thing you want to do is make sure your iOS software is up to date. That is right, guys. One of the biggest problems why your Apple CarPlay might not be working is because your iOS software is not up to date. One of my friends could not fix his Apple CarPlay not working, and he was getting so frustrated. Then I went into his phone, and he did not have his iOS software updated, and that is why the Apple CarPlay was not working, because sometimes, guys, if your software is not up up to the latest version, the Apple CarPlay just won't work for whatever reason, which can be pretty frustrating. But hey, at the end of the day, it's always good to make sure your phone is on the latest version of iOS, just so that there's no security issues. And of course, that could be the reason your Apple CarPlay isn't working. So what you guys want to do is just go ahead and search software update in the settings. So come here. And of course, guys, go to the search bar and search software update like I'm doing right now. And just make sure your iOS is on the latest version. So click software update, guys. And make sure your iOS is on the latest version. So for me, I'm on the latest version of iOS at the time of recording this video, which is iOS 16.4.1. So yeah, just make sure your software is up to date to the latest version. Now, of course, once you've done that, the next thing you guys want to do is make your way back to the settings, guys, and make your way to the search bar like I'm doing right now. Of course, again, to access the search bar, all you guys need to do is scroll down on the settings and you'll see the search bar appear at the top. So just click on the search bar. And now what you want to do is search the word CarPlay in the search bar. So let's go C A R. P L, And then once you search that, the CarPlay setting should appear here. And once it appears, what you want to do is just click on the CarPlay setting like I'm doing right now. Now, once you click on it, it's going to take you to this screen right here. And what you want to do is click the corresponding car you're currently in. So, of course, in here, it's going to show you all the cars you've used your CarPlay with. So, I'm currently in the Kia right now, as you guys can see. So of course, I'm gonna select here from the drop down menu. Then once you click, once you click on your car, sorry, it's gonna take you to this page, and one of the settings on this page is gonna see uh, is gonna say allow CarPlay wall locked, and this is the biggest reason why many people's Apple CarPlay is not working, and that is because sometimes for some reason Apple randomly turns this setting off on so many iPhones for no reason as all at all, and that is the biggest reason I've seen why people's Apple CarPlay is not working because iPhone just turns this setting off sometimes for no reason at all. My girlfriend, guys, actually, her CarPlay wasn't working for like two weeks, and then when I went into her settings, Apple had turned this setting off for no reason, and that's why her CarPlay was not connecting at all. So, of course, if your CarPlay is not connecting, guys, what you want to do is come to the setting and make sure the allow CarPlay wall locked setting is turned on, and you need to leave this one on at all times. Of course, once you've done that, guys, the next thing you need to do is check what type of CarPlay system you guys have. And you can do this by searching your car on Google and finding information about your car. Because there are two types of Apple CarPlay systems. One system is a wireless system, which means you don't need a cord to connect to your Apple CarPlay. And the other version is a wired system of Apple CarPlay. And of course, guys, if you've got a wired system and you're trying to connect wirelessly, that's of course why Apple CarPlay is not working. So you need to make sure you're getting your system right and if you need a cable for your system make sure you've got that and make sure you have your cable connected and that could be a big reason why apple carplay is not working 
Now, of course, guys, if you've tried all of that, if you've gone through all the steps I just showed you, and for whatever reason, your Apple CarPlay is still not working, here's what I need you to do. You, of course, guys, need to go back to your settings, guys, and go back to your CarPlay settings right here. So click on your CarPlay settings. Then what you need to do is click on your car again. And what I want you guys to do is click forget this car. I'm not going to do it right now for the sake of this video, but basically you need to click forget this car and you need to go ahead and reconnect your car to Apple CarPlay. Play. This is another big reason I've seen while people's Apple CarPlay stops working is because sometimes you just need to basically do a factory reset of like the CarPlay on your phone and that is done by forgetting the car and reconnecting. So of course you can just press forget this car and then press forget here down there just like that and it will go ahead and forget your car from Apple CarPlay. Of course, once you've forgotten your car, it is super simple to get back. So, of course, guys, I'll actually do it right now just to show you guys. So, what you want to do is press forget this car like that, and boom, just like that, it is going to forget your car of Apple CarPlay. Now, of course, guys, let me just reset, and I'll be back in one second to show you what to do to reconnect your car again. All right, guys, so I'm back, and once you've gone ahead and forgotten your car, all you need to do is reconnect your Apple CarPlay cable or connect again via Bluetooth, and you should see this setting pop up straight away when you reconnect it should say allow carplay with key while well locked so of course just press allow on that one and once you do that you should be able to go home on your device like this and then your apple carplay should be fully working like normal how crazy is that so of course, yeah, as long as you go ahead and press forget this device and then reconnect it again, either via connecting the cable or by going ahead and reconnecting it via Bluetooth, that should fix any Apple CarPlay issues you guys have. And just like that, your Apple CarPlay should be working like normal, just like this. As you guys can see, I've got the full Apple CarPlay functionality right now, which is absolutely insane. I've got all my apps here. I've got my phone, my maps, my messages, of course, now playing. You've got the Kia app right there, podcasts, calendar calendar settings, Google Maps, and Spotify, and whatever other apps you guys have added to your Apple CarPlay. Of course, guys, if your Apple CarPlay isn't coming up as well, all you guys need to do is go to your cars menu and just click Apple CarPlay from your cars menu. So as you guys know, depending what make and model of car you have, they're going to have their own individual car menus just like this, as you guys can see. This is my car's individual car menu. So if your CarPlay isn't coming up, just find the CarPlay button on your car's individual car panel menu. Mine is right there. It says Apple CarPlay. Play. So just click on that and once you do that guys as long as everything is connected and working properly You should have the Apple CarPlay come up straight away on your car, which is absolutely insane of course, kind of just docks myself right there. But yeah, as you guys can see, you've got literally everything you need. You've got your settings as well, guys, with all your Apple CarPlay settings. And everything should be working just like that, super easily and fast, which is absolutely insane. And yeah, that is basically the step-by-step -step tutorial of what you guys need to do to fix your Apple CarPlay not working right now, super easily and fast. And as I was saying, this tutorial applies on any car you guys have. I've just got my speedy, speedy key right here. But yeah, it doesn't matter what make or model, guys, as long as you have carplay those settings should work on any car but yeah if you did enjoy make sure to smash the like button down below subscribe with the post notification bell turned on and hopefully i can see you in another video good bye